Welcome back, everybody, to some more Octopath Traveler. I am your host, the Musical Gamer. We are still here in Sunshade. We finished a Primrose's final chapter, and lo and behold, <laughs> the entire party, the entire, well, we can only see four people here, but the entire party of eight characters has finally come together. So now we're going to enter into what I think should probably be called phase two of the game, in that we've completed everybody's chapter one, so really we get to kind of pick and choose where we want to go next. Now, nobody is currently at the uh, recommended level that their quest is saying I should be at. The quickest, um, the quickest one for me to do would be, I believe, Prims. Uh, actually, wait, what? Wait, why isn't Prims popping up on the map? Prim, oh, there it is. For some reason, it wasn't showing up. Uh, Prims Chapter Two is at level twenty-one. Is the recommended level? That's currently the lowest one, but Prim. <laughs> of course, is also my lowest level member, only at level 8. So, Prim is going to be quite a ways away from being good enough to take on that particular challenge. So, what I'm going to do, and I think it's going to be beneficial to me in the long run, is I'm going to be sticking with this party of four for the time being, and I believe I'm just going to go straight to Tress's Chapter 2 quest. From things I've heard and have read, and uh, from what you guys have told me, Apparently, Tressa will no longer be locked as the party leader, I think, once I complete her chapter 2? Or her chapter 3? Or her entire story? I don't remember. For some reason, I feel like it's once I complete her chapter 2, she will no longer be locked to the party, and I have true free reign as to who I bring with me. But for right now, my, uh, my combat strategies are limited. I have to build teams around Tressa for the most part. So I think it's only appropriate I go for her uh, particular particular chapter first, I think that'll be the most beneficial, because then I can start worrying about party composition, making sure everybody levels consistently. Um, so that's why, for now, this team of Tressa, Alfin, Hanit, and Primrose are going to be the ones I'm bringing with me. Alfin and Primrose because they're the lowest levels of all the eight characters, and Hanit just because it was either between her and Ulbrich, and I kind of like Hanit's abilities a little bit more, so I'm taking her with me instead. But uh, here we are still in Sunshade, because there are actually new quests available to us, as well as tons of people to talk to. Like this guy right here. Uh, would you look at that? That useless Sadazar hired arm. He's supposed to keep the peace when our customers get a bit rowdy. But all he does is drink, not work. His coin disappears as quickly as the sands in the hourglass. Maybe if someone actually bested him in a fight for once, he'd learn to take his position with a bit more gravity. Me? Are you mad? Have you seen the size of him? I couldn't beat someone like that in a fight. Okay, who are you talking about? That useless sot is our hired arm. Who is the useless sot? I bet if I inquire, I've apparently inquired everybody here. Is it you? He purchased this tavern instead of making changes. No, it's not you. This useless sot. I'm looking for a guard. Is it? Oh, nope. I didn't mean to purchase. I don't think. No, I don't think it's you. You're, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you're looking a way to make easy money. I don't think you're the guy I'm looking for. Is it the guy outside? Is it? Is is it the? Is it this dude? You. Guardsman. No, it's not you. Hold on, is it you? <laughs> Drunken bouncer. <laughs> they don't serve the best ale here. You looking for a dance? I'll take you on, sweetheart. Uh, uh -huh. Sure, I think we found our man. A brute hired to keep peace in the local tavern. To the consternation of his employer, he spends the majority of his time at the bottom of an empty mug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Haven't they taught you not to drink on the job, dude? Uh, ooh. You. Okay, he's strong. He's an olive of life. I will switch people in and out, depending, like, especially Therian with his thieving ability. If I don't want to, you know, buy things, I'd rather just steal them, if I can. Um, methinks I'm not strong enough to do this. I don't know. A level 5 difficulty. I think I've fought people up to level 3, and it's been okay. Hmm. But level 5. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Maybe we'll come back to that at a different point. Might not be a bad idea. Now, there's a couple people up here, too, uh, other than just this side quest. I believe... Yes, you have a Quatrate Bloom, which I don't know what that's for. 
but I do want to get that. Uh, and as well as you, <laughs> you are a famous dancer, and you have, I believe, yes, the diva's dress. Two key items, which I'm definitely going to want. Hello, who are you? Let go of me. I require no escort from the likes of you. <laughs> Don't be shy, love. I'll take you to a place with cushions like the clouds. I'll go where I please, thank you. Now let me go. Hmm. Rhea Born to Rome, one. Stay in a public show. Working during the day and splurging money at night. This man believes in living without regrets and roams the Sunlands. Trying to do just that. And definitely this was the city of a thousand pleasures, all right. Born with beauty and grace, this charming woman finds it difficult to go anywhere without being badgered by aspiring suitors. I wonder. Can I? No, I can't allure you. I said, let me. Can I fight you? You're strength four. I'm willing to risk this. Damn monsters ruining my day. <laughs> Let us begin. Is fighting you what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. Come in, if thou darest. <laughs> now with the spear. Oh, did you just put me to sleep? You son of a bitch. Ow. Okay, then fine. I do still have my mossy meep, so that should be okay. Hopefully I don't I don't get murdered. Aha, you're weak to daggers! Ah oh, yes, sir. my arrow fly. Damn it, I wanna use I want you to use your sword. I mean, it's good damage, don't get me wrong, but... I, will not be back I, I wanted to find out if sword is something that you're weak to. Nope, no sleep for you. I guess I just use you. Yep, weak to sword, of course. How did I know? Maybe now Lind will do what I want to. Sweep! There it is. What is the... What is the priority for the moves with the beasts? Because it's random? It, but is it actually random, or is it like a triggered modifier? If they know an enemy is weak, or a majority of enemies is weak to a certain thing, do, do, do they use that particular skill? I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, nice. Oh, well, there goes the birdie in. Yeah, worth it, in my opinion. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank God. Well, we lost the birdie in. Uh, let's use the mossy meep. I need some HP here. I will not be the one next. Go, Lind. The man has been broken. Come in. And done. So fighting a level four opponent is doable. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Level uh, level five? I don't know. Ooh, a medium light soul stone. All right, so we beat the crap out of the guy. Damn it all, I will not be forgetting this. Uh-huh, sure. Yeah, run home to mama. You have my thanks. That man would not take no for an answer. I only came here because I'd heard this was where people come to have fun in this town. I swear, doesn't the local tribe do anything to maintain order? How is a girl supposed to enjoy the city if she can't even walk down the street in peace? Ruffians like that man should not be allowed to wander free. Oh, but forgive me. I seem to have gotten carried away. Y you wish to know who I am? Oh, well, that's rather... I am... Um, uh, yes, I am on a journey, I suppose. My name is Rhea. You may call me Rhea. Why are you being so secretive, Rhea? I don't know if I like this secrecy stuff. Anyhow, I will not forget your kindness in helping a stranger like myself. Thank you again. If nothing else, at least my journey has shown that there are still some good people left in the world. And now I must say farewell. I hope that your own travels bring you joy. Well, thanks, Rhea. See you around, I guess. Yes, we got a magic nut. She gave me a magic nut. God. 
understand it. Oh, why did this game have to name its freaking items nuts? Seriously? Who's, who's, whose idea was that? Please, tell me. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I saw another orange blip on the radar. There's another quest. I do not want to miss out on quests. So, I don't think fighting a level 5 opponent is a good idea. That level 4 actually took quite a bit. If I had some stronger monsters, maybe I would do it. As no one turns their head at my dancing, I cannot catch anyone's eye. Dancing is nothing but a sorrow. Maybe it's time I hang up my dance shoes. But before I do, I want to stand on that stage and dance with Grace one more time. Her time to shine, huh? I bet you're the one who needs that dress. In a town where many aspire to reign supreme as the fairest dancer of them all, this blue-haired lass trains relentlessly to hone her craft. The girl with the in indef... Wait, what? Indefatigable? What? I have never seen that word before. And that's that's not normal for me. I'm actually really... Not, not to toot my own horn. I'm, I'm pretty well read. I have never seen that word before. Yeah, well, there's your word for the day, viewers. Uh, her spirit is rarely seen without her favorite pair of well-worn shoes. Okay. Um... Let's quickly pull out Therion. I mean, I could just spend the 2,000 belief, but eh, I'd rather not if I don't have to. <laughs> if, if I can get it for free, that would be even better. Oh, I never inquired you, did I? The newly hired barkeep of the tavern in Sunshade. He's made a concerted effort to obtain fine spirits from lands near and far. Mm-hmm. Nope. Well, I mean, he's, he's just doing his job. Dealing with somebody who isn't doing their job. Well, now that Hanit's level 16, I don't know. Do I do I take it to Ulbrick? Do I just keep Therian in the party? I don't know. I like having somebody with at least one type of path action. Like, for the entire party, so we can at least do everything in one way or another. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know. Once you start getting people to around level 20, though, I think I'll switch the party out for sure. You! Steal! 100% chance! Yep. Yoink! Let me steal your clothes right off your back. <laughs> and you! Let me steal your Quatrate Bloom right out of your back pocket. Thank you very much, my good sir. You will not be missing that. That is for sure. You, lady. What do you have to steal? Protective earring? Oh, damn it. One more time. I will take that earring. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, there is no escaping my quick fingers. Ooh! Do not mind if I do. I will take all of these things. How about you two? Anything new? Ooh, handkerchief and some candy. It's like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, soothing seed, sleep weed. Right, I remember you. I bought that soothing dust. Uh, hi. She's just pretty, that's all. What's wrong with a man wanting to spend the night with a pretty lady? Oh, it's you! Rhea. You're the one who attacked Rhea. Empty coin pouch. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks. Uh, how about you? What do you have to steal? Uh, I can take the ice soul stone off your hands. I don't feel confident enough about that inspiriting plum, though. It's my only, only my concern. Yep, here, take the, take the dress. This, this is what you're looking for, isn't it? What is this? This dress, it's beautiful. It's really just stunning. It looks just like the dress worn by a great dancer I used to look up to ever so much. How nostalgic to think of it now. When I first came here to this tavern, I practiced so desperately to try to dance as she did. Things were so awful here, but the dancing. I always did love the dancing. I've been dancing so many years now, but I wonder if I ever got close to her level at all. It's like a dream come true, to get to wear this dress just like hers, and dance on the stage as she did. <laughs> what, what if we told her it's actually her dress? <laughs> I suppose it's time for my last cue. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Her time to shine. We got a wind amulet. Not too bad. All right, let's switch the party back and uh, I guess start making our way over to the next location where 
Tress's chapter two kicks off. I, I, I don't know what to expect, and I'm hoping we can even make it there. Um, Hanit, yes, you come in over Therian. And I suppose that's it, we're good to go. Yeah, Prim's just gonna have to catch up on the road. That's, that's all we can do. Kind of a shame, but... I mean, what can you do, right? Alright, so we need to go over here to Quarry Crest, which means... We need to go back to Boulderfall. I guess we could have gone to the Riverlands as well, but... I think I, I think I'd like coming here first. Oh, hello. Who are you? Whatever shall I do? Got my precious egg when I was crossing the bridge. You haven't seen it, have you? What if we're attached against a rock? Pawn my honor if it was bro- Wait a minute, didn't I pick up an egg? Yes! I did! I did pick up an egg! Did We, we bought it from that person, didn't we? Or she just gave it to us? Back in the Riverlands. Here. Uh, girly. Here's your egg. All right. My egg? Oh, thank the gods. There's not a crack on it. Isn't it wonderful? Well, I mean, if you say so. It's an egg, isn't it? A strange dream, huh? A dragon appeared before me, and then it started to speak. It's funny. Even though the dragon was enormous, I wasn't scared at all. It spoke like a highborn lady, ever so posh, and I could tell it was wise, too. The dragon said it would give me an egg, and that I had to take care of it. Well, it was just a dream, of course, but it seemed so real. So I went to the place the dragon told me about, and upon my honor, there was a giant egg. Well, after being sent there, of course I had to take good care of it. The dragon told me something else, too. I heard that in the old days, all dragons were wise, and they'd often talk to folk like us. But now there are hardly any wise dragons left in the world. So I have to raise the baby dragon when it hatches, and te teach it to talk like people. G is that possible? Holy crap! I didn't know that was a thing in this universe! Jesus Christ! Intelligent dragons! Well, there's a man at Quarry Crest who knows all there is to know about eggs. They say he's hatched everything from spiders to griffins! That's where I'm headed. If anyone can help me hatch this egg, it'll be him. Anyway, must be going. Thank you for finding my egg. Well, as it just so happens, we're on our way to Quarry Quest... Bleh! Quarry Crest, too. My name's Kaya, by the way. If you ever need anything, you just let me know. Well, I guess we'll catch you in Quarry Crest, Kaya. Crap, man. Kaya, mother of dragons. Well, go figure. Is there anybody... Oh, hello, you... Mr. Guard. Mr. Guardman. So you see... Look at the sometime plot to rebel against the Highborn. Garrison mates said they've been confiscating weapons by the cartload. Hmm. Can we resolve this before we leave town? I mean, we're here, after all. We go to Lowtown. Do they have anything over here? A good day, to A reasonable ah. lot. You! Sir! Better in Brigand. Why oh, I want to join the Thieves Gang? Nah, didn't think you would. The thing is, Filchin's too much like hard work for my Ilkin, so I want to quit. I've got to find a replacement before I do. It's one of the rules of Mata's Gang. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find reliable outlaws these days. So you want me to find you a thief, huh? I will keep my eyes and ears peeled. Dab handed the fine art of thievery. This member of Martyr's gang works with his brethren to rob the wealthy landowners and greedy nobles who have exploited the poor and destitute through more socially accepted means. Great. Well. Now, is there actually a rebellion brewing down here? <clears throat> oh! It's time for the poor and downtrodden to rise up. What recourse do we have? We want to improve our lot. This is the only chance we have. Share project plans. Oh, that's right. We picked up project plans, actually, from the Lord in that manner. Uh, hold on. I want to inquire. In case there's anything to know. I wish that there were another more peaceful way. Well, dude, we, we got one for you. What about purchasing? What do you have? A revolutionary sword. Um, I'm not going to... Oh, wait, we are next to the tavern, aren't we? Freaking hell. Oh, well. I spent money. Oops. It's not a big deal. You! Here's some project plans. You speak the truth. They have plans to help us. 
Who would have known the Highborn truly care for us in our plight? And there's no need for useless bloodshed. I'll tell my comrades to lay down their arms. And I'll go myself to meet the nobles and offer a hand in peace. I want to see this resolved as quickly as anyone else does. God's a mercy, my traveling friend. <laughs> hey, we're helping the locals. That works for me. Today's a grand day. A sight like this brings a tear to me. Oh, it does. Well, I'm here on behalf of the poor folk to sue for peace between us. Can we let bygones be bygones and work together for the good of all? Well, Matt. Thank you for coming all this way, good sir. You propose precisely that which I have long desired. Let us join hands now in fellowship. First, let me tell you of my plans to improve the lives of the people in the slum town. I will gladly hear them, sir, but our conference will be a long one, I warrant. Let us drink together first to seal our alliance. Yes, a splendid idea. The future's looking bright thanks to you, fair stranger. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't intervened. And 2,000 money. Cool, we're picking up a good chunk of change. We're going to be able to upgrade, I think, quite a bit of equipment once we actually get to Quarry Crest. Which we're going to do now, I promise. There's so many side quests to do, man. Freaking love side quests. <laughs> especially when they... Especially when they make me feel worth it. Like, I feel like I'm affecting the world as I go. That's the way to do side quests, I have to say. Make them feel like it's actually a part of something Step big. Right Ooh, is that a, um... Hold on. We surprised our foe. Let's is that a, is that a book person three? It truth. is. I can get a new one. Ooh. 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 Okay, hold on. Here are we to... Uh, spears and daggers. I don't need to worry about that. These guys in the back are weak to axes, though. Let's just uh, take care of the birds in the back, shall we? We'll let Tressa deal with this one in the front. Bring it on! I am ready. There we go. Stab you a couple times. Break you. My turn now. Now can we? Great Tempest and not kill the guy in the front. No! Damn it! We did kill the guy in the front. Uh, I was worried about that. Eh, oh well. Maybe we'll run into another. That dude just does too much damage to not take advantage of. Boulderfall, South Boulderfall, Plast to Clearbrook. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, right, yes, this is the right way. We do have to go towards Riverbrook. Letting us begin. Ah, is there one? Yep, that's one. You, Mr. Cliff I Birdian. I wish to I wish to capture you. Ooh, and I also need to, now that I think about it. I think Prim has enough uh skill points that I can give her some uh new abilities, which might not be a bad idea. Might not be a bad idea at all. Come in if thou darest. Um Hanuk, can we? Oh, we can capture you 100%. Yes, please. You! Come to me. All right. Let's do this. Oops. I meant to attack you. Eh, well. Oh, that worked. I didn't think that would actually kill it. Primate level 9. So at least we're making progress in that regard. And we did get, we did get the cliff birdie, and so that makes me happy as well. Uh, cross the bridge. Make our way down south. Alright, so now our goal is to travel west. Westward bound we are. In fact, I think this is the path right here. Let's just save real quick. Because God knows I have no idea what's going to happen. Or crest this way. Let's do it. Danger level 17. We, actually, we are totally capable of handling this. And we found some more money. Not too bad. Um, okay, Quarry Crest is to the north. But I do see this chest here. I can't just leave that alone. Herb of Valor. Nice. 
All right, let's take the bridge north and keep going on our way. Ooh, hello, and new music. Hehe, <laughs> new battle music, because we're in chapter two territory now. All right, well, armor eater and a Loris. Yo, Loris, Yoris? I mean, we say llama, not yama, though. Is that Spanish? I, I don't know. Oh crap! I didn't give you your stupid. I didn't give you your ability. I don't know who's weak to what. What's going on here? Ooh! Oh dear. Okay, they do a lot of damage. Um. Use an axe. Oh god, that's not good. Wind? Oh, they're both weak to wind. I'm actually really curious. Mighty Slash, you got a sword move. Retaliative posture. Armory, I want to catch you. Screw that, man. You're get, you're getting caught. Actually, maybe both of you. Honestly. Ah, you're weak to swords. Good to know. Oh, there goes Prim. Right. Um. Prim, come That's back to I'm me. <laughs> Thank you, Alfin. God damn, I'm so happy I gave you your revival ability. Yeah, I have a feeling Prim's gonna just get murdered quite a bit. I'm not weak to bows. Wish you were. You weak to axes. You're not weak to axes. Ooh, double attack. Okay, that's fair. Nope, spears are no good. I'm ready. What about daggers? Ah, you're weak to daggers. Coming if thou dance. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, damn it! We killed the we killed the thing. Bring it on. Oh, we found everything you're weak to. That All is right. good to know. Let's get that trip. Do what we I'm can ready. to it. Let's use moonlight walls. I figured that do more damage than my daggers. Here I go. Um, trade wins. Our goal here is to weaken it enough that we can catch it. What next? Four, four percent. What? You have got to be kidding me. Okay, this thing is yes. way, way too bulky. Uh, large volume. Essence of. Ooh, wait, yes. <laughs> ah, come on, good God. Large volume. Essence of grape. I don't think we need to use that. Just use the essence of grape here. Try Everybody needs some HP. All right, we're gonna be dealing with some more fights. We're gonna be dealing with fights that take a bit more effort to think about. And we missed. Nice. On its shields. Damn it! Did you just- oh, that, that's your magic defense. I- I was about to say, I'm like, did you bulk up your defense Let even more? Because I was about to get really mad. Yeah, break you. Goodbye. Um... Just- just do what you can. I am ready. God, this thing is bulky. Here we go. Now I, I wish I had um, uh, what's his face, Cyrus, to tell me what the hell I'm I'm doing wrong here. Is this gonna kill him? No, not even close. It did do good damage though, which is which is fine. Oh my God! Ye All right, this guy is starting to get on my nerves. This guy is really really getting on my nerves. 
do do. I want to catch you so bad though. Fourteen more damage. Twenty-nine more damage. Body armor. Lovely. Just just lovely. Oh, he's losing HP pretty quick. It's fine, just uh do what damage you can. Trade wins! Here goes nothing. He's been broken again. Oh dear god. It's 45. I'm ready. <laughs> just 12. Here we go. 58. What next? How about now? 6%! 12%! What in God's name is going on here with this thing? He does not want to be caught. This is essentially what this boils down to. Ow! I, I will not give up. I will, I will take the time to actually catch you. And you, you will do nothing about it. 214 more damage. Here we go. And he's down to one. Beginning. Even broken. I'm ready. Let's do this. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. No! After all that work. Oh. oh, it's so painful. You level 20, Prim at 10. God, he... I don't even know if we would have been able to catch him. That percentage chance is just so low. I wonder if Hanit needs to be, like, level 20. I wonder if her capture percentage goes up even with um, her own levels. It's an idea. South Orwell passed to Orwell. Orwell? It's another location, I guess. Interesting. Well, we're not going there. We're going to Quarry Crest up here. Uh, excuse me. What is this? The Derelict Mine. Danger level 30. Um, yeah. I don't think so. Give me that money and we're running. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little unprepared for a place like that. Yeah, no, no thanks. I'm going to have to come back here with Therian. Because there's a purple chest. And only he can open those. God damn it. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. Oh god, not these things again. Here we go. Do we fight them again? I mean, granted, that battle only took so long because I was trying to catch that guy. What to do? I'm almost positive that it won't be this bad this time around. If I don't try to catch him, I think I'll be fine. Uh, we could go for... Let's just use a beast lore here. Yeah, you are going to be easier to catch. Ultimately. I am ready. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to give prim abilities. For fuck's sake, man. There he goes. I think it's the move next. Bring it on. That'll do her. There you go. That's all we needed to do. I'm ready. Um, you know what? Why don't you defend? Next? Actually, no. It doesn't matter because you're gonna. That was kind of a waste, but your damage is negligible anyway. Negligible at best. Bring it on! Alright, he's broken now. Uh, Alfin... I just want you to attack him this turn. I think next turn I'll have you amputate. You have no BP to do anything with Trissa. I'm ready. This is fine. Keep building up your BP. 
That'll be fine. You! The level 3 amputate. Nice damage. Very nice damage. Let's summon something here. Just take Marmot? Oh! Well, there goes the Marmot, but that was good damage. Kinda necessary. there. Oh, shit. Oh, interesting. I didn't think that was going to happen. Oh, that's fine. Alvin's level 14. Good for you, dude. Levels are your friend. Hey, we made it. Quarry Crest. That's right. I had business here. Well, not only you, but Cyrus as well. But Cyrus is another two levels higher. Following in the footsteps of the nameless author, you find yourself in a quarry crest very different than the one you described. Your search for business begins here. Hmm. Why don't we hit a tail for another day? We'll go to the inn, and we'll, or the tavern, and we'll deal with stuff there. Ah, look at this. Alvin is not a high enough level to, to find information to these guys. I'm going to need Cyrus to discover stuff. So I might pull him out, actually. Iron Helm, Heavy Axe, some of that stuff is pretty nice. Oh, hello, sir. To ye. Family's been weaving carpets and cloth here for generations. There was a time when every house of her leagues around was carpeted with Gendy's finest fabrics. Oh. But these days, well, no one in this town sees much cause to visit our humble shop. Time marches on, and it doesn't care who it stomps past. The Weaver's Predicament. Well, we don't have anything we can uh, do for you. I don't Hello think. There. Hey, it's Kaya. Why, you're the person who found my dragon egg. It's me, Kaya, remember? There's an old man in this town who knows all there is to know about dragon eggs. I wish I knew where he's at. I'm awfully anxious to talk to him. Kaya, mother of dragons, too. Well, we found you. Again. Ah, look at this. Dubious gold ore. And an olive of life medium-sized. Holy crap, man. Well, don't mind if I do. What's in here? D more dubious gold ore. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't mind if I do. I just kind of want to take a look. I want to take a look around town. Where is... Road to Morlock's Mance. I... Uh, I don't know if that's where we're supposed to go. I am... I'm going to say no. Ooh, hello. Wind Soulstone, medium. I just want to find where the tavern is. There's the item shop. There's the inn. Chest... Pseudo gold ore? What pseudo? How is it pseudo? I, I, I don't I don't I don't understand. <laughs> How can you have pseudo gold ore? Can it can it just be is it gold or is it not gold? Is it half gold? Is it silver? Tin? Pyrite? I don't get it. I do not get it. The quarry crest mines. Now is this actually part of town? Ah, it is part of town. Look at this, the weapon shop and the inn. And there's a ton of people to talk to. Oh my god. Let's just grab the loot, the healing grape bunch, and... This herb of valor. Next time on Let's Play Octopath Traveler, we will continue to explore Croy Crest, as well as probably start Tress's Chapter 2. Thanks all for watching. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. The true game begins now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.